Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture on your screen. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then choose your answer on your screen. The statements will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 on your screen. A. A woman is planting a flower. B. A woman is holding a pot. C. A woman is watering a plant. D. A woman is cleaning a window. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 on your screen. A. A man is shoveling snow. B. A man is driving a car. C. A man is entering a garage. D. A man is repairing a lawnmower. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 on your screen. A. The woman is putting dough into an oven. B. The woman is taking off an apron. C. The man is clearing a countertop. D. The man is reaching for an item in a display case. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 on your screen. A. There are coats hanging on chairs. B. There are plates on dining tables. C. Water is being poured into a cup. D. Tables are being wiped with cloths. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and choose the letter A, B, or C on your screen. Number 5. Where can I find information about the tour? A. We discovered more evidence. B. He was informed of the delay. C. Details are on the website. Number 6. Could you tell me if your spa offers gift certificates? A. Not as of March. B. Thanks for the voucher. C. A teller will help you with your deposit. Number 7. What will be served as the entree at the award ceremony? A. Salmon and lemon sauce. B. Service was too slow. C. This job is very rewarding. Number 8. John is a member of the hiring committee, isn't he? A. I'll hang the poster higher. B. That's the community center. C. I believe so. Number 9. Do you like this desk color or should I get something brighter? A. It's saved on my desktop computer. B. I think that shade of brown is nice. C. A table for the space would be great. Number 10. Who painted these landscapes? A. One of my art students. B. I'll grab some additional paint brushes. C. At the Winston Gallery. Number 11. Why has our parking lot been blocked off? A. No, park on the road. B. So it can be resurfaced. C. At 2 p.m. today. Number 12. 
Which assignment are you interested in focusing on? A. Revising the product catalog. B. Sure, let me assign them quickly. C. Mr. Abdul is eager to work here. Number 13. What are most of the articles in the newsletter about? A. It's sent out by email. B. Most of them participated. C. Staff achievements. Number 14. Is now a good time to take a train ride through the mountains? A. It's beautiful this time of the year. B. The theme park has new rides. C. A view from the mountaintop. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and choose the letter A, B, C, or D on your screen. The conversations will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Questions 15 to 17 refer to the following conversation. Thank you for calling Spanglers. How can I help you? Good morning. I purchased an electric mixer from your online shop, and it just arrived today. It was supposed to come with three attachments, but there was only one in the box. I'm very sorry about that, sir. Could you tell me the model number, please? Yes, it's R745, and the main mixer blade is the only one that came with it. All right. I'll send the other two blades today. Um, that's the small size blade and the shredder. Thanks. And I don't have to pay for delivery, right? That's right, because it was our fault. Could you please give me your preferred mailing address? Number 15. What does the woman's company most likely produce? Number 16. Why does the woman apologize? Number 17. What does the man ask about? Questions 18 to 20 refer to the following conversation. Good morning and welcome to Sunberg Community Center. How may I help you? Hello. I'm interested in finding a place to play racquetball. I just moved to this town for a new job, and someone at work recommended this place. Great. We have four racquetball courts, but you have to be a member to use them. OK. Would it be possible to see your facilities? Of course. I'll ask my co-worker Amy to show you around. Wait here just a moment, please. Number 18. How did the man learn about the business? Number 19. What has the man recently done? Number 20. What will the woman ask a colleague to do? Questions 21 to 23 refer to the following conversation. Hello, my name is Patty York, and I live at 782 Caldwell Street. I received a notice saying my payment for June is overdue. However, I paid that bill by bank transfer last week, so there must be some kind of mistake. Let me check on that, Ms. York. Hmm, there isn't any record of a payment on our system. However, we've just upgraded our software. Maybe that's causing some problems. All right, then. What do I need to do? Let's see if the payment shows up within a few days. If not, you may have to give us a copy of your bank statement proving the payment. Number 21. Why is the woman calling?
Number 22. What does the man say about a software program? Number 23. What does the man say might be necessary? Questions 24 to 26 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Good morning. My name is Corey, and I'll be leading this training for your safety inspector certification. How about you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Marcy. I'm currently working in retail, but I'd like something with a little more variety. I'm Fernanda. I'd like to get a government job after I complete my certification. Well, I'm glad you're both here. Now, at the end of this training, you have to pass a test. Unfortunately, we're currently having some problems with our software program, so you might have to take a paper-based test instead. Yes, Marcy? I'm wondering if there will be a break for lunch. Yes, from noon to one. Number 24. What kind of job are the women training for? Number 25. What does the man warn the women about? Number 26. What does Marcy ask about? Questions 27 to 29 refer to the following conversation. Look at this. The report on Linux is due this Friday. I didn't realize the management team was still interested in Linux. Well, maybe it's because they failed to get the contract with Keystone Corporation. I don't think I can finish it on time. What am I supposed to do? Don't worry, it's only Tuesday. That's plenty of time to finish it. But I'm leaving for a business trip in Washington this evening, and I won't be back until Thursday. In that case, you have a good reason to ask the manager to extend the deadline. Number 27. What does the man have to do by Friday? Number 28. What does the man imply when he says, I won't be back until Thursday? Number 29. What does the woman suggest the man do? Questions 30 to 32 refer to the following conversation and schedule. Thanks for meeting with me, Ms. Malcolm. I've just compiled the data from the customer survey for our wireless headphones. Overall, the ratings were favorable. Here's a chart of the most highly rated features. Those figures are better than I expected, and I'm especially pleased that people like the packaging so much. The team really work hard on that. I agree. So we've obviously got a good product here. What should we do next? Uh, we need to film a commercial. I'd love to get a famous musician to star in it. Number 30. What kind of product are the speakers discussing? Number 31. Look at the graphic. What rating is the woman particularly pleased about? Number 32. What does the woman hope to do? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and choose the letter A, B, C, or D on your screen. The talks will not be shown on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Questions 33 to 35 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Nicola. It's Kai. 
I'm working on the new clothing designs for the upcoming runway show. I've been having some difficulty getting the fabrics that I need. So, if you don't mind, I'd like to change our supplier. I think we could get better variety as well as better service that way. Also, I saw your drawing with the changes you suggested making to the denim jacket. Unfortunately, um, it's similar to the Pacifica brand. I think we'd better try to make our look stand out. Number 33. What does the speaker most likely specialize in? Number 34. What does the speaker want to do? Number 35. Why does the speaker say, It's similar to the Pacifica brand. Questions 36 to 38 refer to the following broadcast. And now for news from the publishing world. Deanna Caruso's new cookbook has made the top of the bestseller list again this week. While most of you know her for her successful swimming career, she is now showing off her talents for cooking. The cookbook, Deanna at Home, has been selling so well because each recipe gives you different options to change ingredients. It's perfect for people with allergies or those on special diets. Last Friday, Ms. Caruso announced that she is also launching a website with cooking videos and more. That goes live tomorrow, so don't miss it. Number 36. Who is Deanna Caruso? Number 37. Why is the cookbook popular? Number 38. According to the speaker, when will a website be launched? Questions 39 to 41 refer to the following announcement. Attention visitors to the City Art Museum. We are thrilled to announce that the construction of the garden on our property is complete. Just like the museum, there will be no admission fee. We have outdoor chairs so visitors can relax among beautiful flowers and plants. Originally, we had planned to close the garden at 6 p.m. daily. However, we've now decided to give it the same closing time as our building, which is 8 p.m. Number 39. Where is the announcement taking place? Number 40. What does the speaker say about the garden? Number 41. What has changed about the original plan? Questions 42 to 44 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Good morning, everyone. To begin today's meeting, I'd like to congratulate the entire team. Because of the ad campaign you developed for our new sofa, we have seen record sales for this item. I'm happy to say that the figures are even better than we expected. Now, some of you may have heard that Claire Yates plans to transfer to another branch at the end of the month. That means, um, one of you will have the opportunity to be promoted to team leader. If you're interested, please visit the company's internal website to read a description of the role. Number 42. Why does the speaker congratulate the listeners? Number 43. According to the speaker, what will one of the listeners be able to do? Number 44. What does the speaker suggest doing on a website? Number 45. 
Questions 45 to 47 refer to the following advertisement. Do you want to get premium brand products at a great price? With a little help from Coupon Spotter, you'll never miss another sale again. We send text alerts directly to your phone, notifying you about special offers in your area. To sign up, simply visit our website at couponspotter.net and enter your phone number. You can choose between daily, weekly, or monthly messages. And if you sign up this month, by August 31st, you'll get a free adjustable cell phone stand. Join Coupon Spotter today and start saving. Number 45. What does the service offer? Number 46. What should people provide on the website? Number 47. How can the listeners get a free gift? Questions 48 to 50 refer to the following telephone message and schedule. Hi, Kenny. It's Deborah Rooney from Yorkshire Pharmaceuticals. I've been looking at the results for our new allergy medication. I'm pleased with the figures so far, but I think we'd better do further testing before moving forward with the project. I'd like to talk to you about this, so let's schedule a meeting. I want to make sure we aren't missing anything important. I'm wondering if you're free tomorrow morning, March 9th at 9 o'clock. Something on my schedule got cancelled, so I'm available then. Please call me back at 555-0037. Thank you. Number 48. What kind of business does the speaker work for? Number 49. What does the speaker want to discuss in a meeting? Number 50. Look at the graphic. Which activity on the speaker's schedule got cancelled? 